That's exactly what it was. It was it was full on from basically from the start until uh, even until the finish, I would say, because we always had to look back uh, to Mafra. Because they always, yeah, you know, they don't sit still. And uh, now it was interesting. The coming out of the bay, we had some issues. Uh, we thought we had some wheat in the in the propeller, and that slowed us down. And we came out we came out quite quite behind. And then we had a very good first day after, so we managed to sail ourselves forward and. Basically, then we're in the leading group all the way until uh, uh, quite far into the doldrums. And, and there, let me think. Oh, well, one day we did something really smart somehow, where we, yeah, we picked a nice, nice puff, a nice uh, bit of breeze, and managed to roll Mafra, get in front of them. That's where they lost their. Being close to the front front liners, front boats, and then basically it was. Let me think. Uh, it was Dong Fang at one stage on our right, Vestas on our left, and us in the middle without any breeze, zero 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 on the speedo. Vesta sailing away to the left, and Dong Fang sailing around us, quite far around us, eight miles around us, and yeah, we were we couldn't do anything. And a few hours later, somehow we got some breeze and made it back to uh, Dongfeng. But then, quickly afterwards, they left us like, and we had no idea what we did wrong. You know, we, we checked everything. We checked the foils. We checked, we checked the tanks if they were empty, and we just couldn't hang on. And yeah, and then we opted, I think, for a little bit more northern, northern routes. But that's where we lost a little bit. Uh, yeah, the, yeah, the front positions with the, the other two. Yeah, we had, it was a little bit like with Bungie, you know. Sometimes you're a little bit quicker, then the others are a little bit quicker. Uh, but we were definitely competitive. It wasn't that windy. Um, and yeah, at one stage where we made a step forward, there we just sailed really. Yeah, Chris said, oh, "We have to, we have to go, we have to go left to that to that puff." where Mafra came down uh, with and so we, we basically changed our course from the other two boats went into the, into the big breeze and yeah, it worked out well at that stage yeah I think so I think that uh, yeah okay uh, Festa's very unlucky uh, but yeah, I think we sailed a good leg Especially when we left the doldrums, we really thought oh, we, we deserve as well a uh, podium place. And, uh, yeah, and the, the team atmosphere was fantastic. And the boy, I didn't do the leg before, but the boys were, they are tired. Everybody is tired after being 40 days at sea with a five day break. Uh, but the atmosphere was really good and we had lots of fun as well, which is also quite a positive thing. Especially for the uh, legs coming up, the, the morale is good. Uh, we know the boat is, is good, and uh, I'm just looking forward to the next leg. Yeah, uh, sometimes you know you, you feel like uh, 40 days of freeze-dried food, for example, at one stage you, yeah, you just you're not sick of it, but you, you have enough of it. Uh, but the racing is so close and so intense. Uh, when you sleep, you sleep. And when you're on deck, you you race on the, uh, you race uh, the hardest. So time flies, and yeah, and, then, and then if there are some jokes, uh, it goes even, the, the time goes even quicker. So now very good atmosphere. Good to have a little rest now, and uh, yeah, I don't see any issues to be not competitive for next. Time. Well, we had a few things. Uh, so the rudders we have to check. Simeon hit something hard last night, the hull. So there might be a little dent somewhere, but yeah, that is apart from that, a little bit of work on the sails. But normal thing, no, nothing major. It looks interesting here. So now I have to explore a little bit and uh, make the best out of it. <laughs>